What's up guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do right now, okay? Now, this is going to be part two of my 10 part series. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be 10 parts, but it's going to be 10 parts. My first video was how I became a Merchant Mariner, and I said the next video was going to be cost. Well, when I went to look up the cost, I realized they revamped the whole website, and I started reading all up in it. And so I figured this video would be more important than the cost. This video is how you're going to start the application process for the Seafarers International Union Apprenticeship Program, SIU Apprenticeship Program. Okay? Um, it's a five phase program <coughs> that you will get done with and come out debt free with a guaranteed job. Okay? So the application process is a two step process process now I'm gonna tell you right now highly suggested you do step two before you do step one and I will get to why you should do step two before you do step one later on in the video so I'm gonna tell you step one is basically a 400 word essay which when I did it was 500 word essay <coughs> it's not a lot of word guys it's like one page one page of why you want to be a merchant mariner um, number two of step one is going to be um, your letters of recommendation. <coughs> and your letters of recommendation, you need at least two, and at least one of those has to be from prior employer. I did two prior employers and one letter of recommendation from another figure. Um, the last part and a half you need to provide them with a passport photo to go with your file for the application. Now, as soon as you send them these three things, the essay, the letters of recommendation, and the photo, I would say send it priority mail so you know exactly what day it's gonna show up. So you can start calling them and following up on your packet, saying, hey, have you guys got my packet? You know, what do I do next? What do I do next? Hey, have you guys got my packet? Um, because they state it on the website, um, it is up to you to follow up on your process, on your packet, on everything. This is on you. Big boy pants, big girl pants, okay? So, as soon as you follow up with them and you confirm that they have those three things, they're going to tell you to go down to your closest SIU hall and you're going to take a reading and math placement test. Now, the reading math placement, there is no pass or fail. It is just a placement to see where you're at and don't let it discourage you at all. It's, it's really trying to help you because it's gonna see where you're at and then they're gonna suggest if you need the after class study group or not. And if you need it, you need it, guys, okay? So don't make a big deal of it. Um, <clears throat> now you have, but between the time they get your packet Say you send in the essay, but you don't have the letters of recommendation, and you forgot to do the photo. By the time they get your essay, you have 30 days to get these two other things in. And also within that 30 days, you have to schedule time in the union hall to go take that reading and math placement test. So you have to do all these within 30 days. Now, as soon as you get done with that reading math placement test, call the admissions, ask them or tell them hey I did the reading and math placement what's next now they might say okay wait till it gets processed we'll see then we'll call you back call week after call that following week after call them each week until they tell you step two go ahead and start now this is where I'm telling you this is what I did and it was highly helpful highly encouraged do step two before step one step two you have 90 days to complete step two and for me at the time I was working two full-time jobs and I had to take time off from those jobs to get this stuff done and it took me like six months to really figure it all out and get it all done because there's nobody holding your hand for this you got to figure out where to go what to do so if you do step two first by the time you finish step one, they're gonna be like, okay, you have 90 days to do step two, and you'll be like, okay, well, I have it all right here in a packet, ready to go. I'm sending it priority mail, it'll be there within a week. 
and they'll be like whoa okay sweet and then they'll get it and then you have like 30 days of them deciding and then they'll tell you when to show up so let me go through step two do step two first step two is basically obtaining all of your paperwork that you need to sale your first one's going to be your passport the second one is going to be your twic when you have your twic now you can apply for your mmc which is the twic is the traveler worker identification certification or credential and then your mmc which you need your twic for your mmc is your merchant mariner credential with your mmc you have to make sure that your MMC, you're applying for it with OS, WI, which is wiper, SA for steward, and with that SA, you want to apply for your food handler's permit. Um, I had already got, I did my food handler permit like online through my state, and I sent it in with my packet, and then they gave it to me. But according to the SIU website, you can apply for your food handler permit with your MMC and then I guess it shows up with it no tests involved I don't know but uh <coughs> also with your MMC you're gonna want to apply for your STCW two-year medical certificate um, I can't remember what STCW stands for it's like st standards training something watch standing I feel really bad that I don't remember that but anyways, so your passport, TWIC, MMC, OS, wiper, SA, food handler, permit, STCW, and then you're going to have to take and schedule a U.S. Coast Guard exam. And I believe that's also on, you know, pre-qualifying to get your MMC. The U.S. Coast Guard exam has to be at a U.S. Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard, oh, I lost the word, um, US Coast Guard accepted place you're gonna do a physical a drug test a benzene test um, and you're gonna get your yellow shot fever you need those things all for them MC now on top of all this you need to get a letter from your local dentist stating that your teeth are good your gums are good your wisdom teeth aren't gonna be bothering you within the next year because when you go to the program, you're in the program for a year straight. There's tiny little gaps where you have a toothache. If you get out of the program, you're starting the program over. So you have to get a letter from your dentist, dentist stating your teeth and gums are good to go. Um, <coughs> now, like I said, Step two, highly suggested, highly recommended you do first. This is what I did because I didn't know about the program and I had all this paperwork already ready to go. So when I found out about the program and I did step one and they, I did all that stuff for step one, they said, okay, you have 90 days to complete your passport, your TWIC, your MMC, your physicals, your drug tests, your dental. And that all took me like six months to do. I'm sure you could do it within three months, but you're gonna be running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And if you have a full-time job while you're trying to do all this, good luck, okay? So do step two of the application process. That way when you're done with step one and they say start step two, you could already tell them I have everything ready to go. I'm sending it, it'll be there in seven, excuse me, <clears throat> seven days. Now they're gonna get it, and their website actually didn't say this when I was looking through, but I remember when I went in in 2016, it said after they have step one and step two, all your, all your packets all good to go, they're gonna, they hold a committee once a month to look through and review all the applications <clears throat> and then they will contact you now as soon as step one and step two which after step one you have to follow up follow up follow up follow up until they say start step two 
after you've done step two, follow up, follow up, follow up, and then you'll get accepted. Now, they're gonna send you a letter of acceptance with everything you need to do to get to school, and they say and they state that they're gonna give you three months notice before your due date of class, before your reporting date of class. Now, because I had step two done before step one and I sent it within that week of them saying you have 90 days, I sent them a packet in seven days. They sent me a, an acceptance letter the first week of September and my due date was October 3rd. And of course, I bought a last minute plane ticket and I flew out there because I wasn't missing out on this chance. So, that's it. <coughs> um, also, if you guys want to figure out where all this is at, you go to, I believe it's seafarers.org. I also feel really bad. I don't know this website by heart because I, I just have it saved in my favorites and I log into my portal account and check up on all my status of everything, blah, blah, blah. But if it's not seafarers.org, just look up SIU, Seafarers International Union, and it'll be like the first or second one. Now they've changed up their website and if you're like me I looked it up on my phone and it was completely different than three years ago so you're gonna want to go to the tab menu <coughs> you know a little square box with three or four lines for the drop down <coughs> you know click on that and in that drop down you'll have a bunch of options you're gonna click on training and careers then that's gonna drop down with a whole bunch of options you're gonna click on admissions and then that's going to drop down with like four or five options. And then there's apprenticeship overview and then apprenticeship application. So within those two drop downs, well, within those like five drop downs, just to get to those two drop downs, you will find all the information I just told you and more if you don't want to keep listening to my videos. But I highly suggest you subscribe right now. Because I'm coming out with daily content. Like I said, this is going to be a five, five part series. How I become a Merchant Mariner. The application of how you can get into the program. I'm going to do phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five. All my experiences. And the cost. The cost of getting into the program and getting out debt free. Okay? So, that's all the information I got for you guys tonight. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Um, share with your family. Share with your friends. Share with your cousin, your aunties. Whoever is curious about getting into this program, it's never too late. There was 30 to 60 year old people going into it. Males, females, whatever you want. It's never too late to get into this program. It's never too late to change your career and try to better yourself, okay? So, you guys have a good night. I'm out.